What's up guys, Josh from Strengthside. Today we're going over two exercises for the spine. What I commonly see is that people who are really, really stiff lack any flexibility of their spine. If your spine is really, really locked down and can't move, there's a really good chance that the things that it's connected to, shoulders and the hips, are going to be really stiff as well. These are two really good movements that are going to help your back be able to flex fully and extend fully. Both these movements are in my full body strength and mobility program, Move Strong Now. Check it out, first link in the description. Movement number one for your back flexibility is Jefferson Curl. You're gonna to wanna to start elevated, standing on an object, a weight bench works perfectly. Now, to start, you just wanna hold something that is going to be heavy enough to pull you into position a little bit, but not too heavy. Something around five to 15 pounds starts great for starting off with this movement. So to do this movement, it's essential that we make this a spine articulation movement and not a hip hinge. This means starting by tucking the chin and incrementally moving the spine downwards while not moving the hips backwards. We want to keep those hips in place. Now, as you get deeper and deeper, let the weight pull you down until you get to that deepest point. At this deepest point, you should definitely feel a big stretch through the calves and the hamstrings, but also through the upper body as well. Most people don't realize that this is going to stretch your lats and your traps and scapular retractors like the rhomboids a lot. Now you wanna reverse the movement back up, once again, moving through the spine. So now when the lower back starts to extend up, try to maintain that rounding of the upper spine until we get back to the top. That's one rep. As you get stronger in this movement, you can definitely start to increase the weight if you feel like it'll be beneficial for you. The next stretch is overhead reach on a foam roller. Now we're going to do the opposite for the spine and we're going to seek extension, right? And especially extension of this upper thoracic spine. This is usually where most people lack the ability to get straight. To do this stretch, you're going to lay down on the floor. You're going to put the mid back on a foam roller or a yoga block or some type of object similar to that. Um, then you're going to reach your arms overhead and you're gonna grab onto any fixture. Could be a pole, could be a dumbbell or a weight plate. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to let your hips come down to the ground. And we're gonna to try to keep some tension here in the front of the core and keeping that rib cage down so that extension comes from the upper back. Now you can do this for reps, lifting your hips up, setting them back down, or you can simply just hold with the hips down in that stretched position. Really try to reach the arms overhead and let this front part of the chest open up. Depending on how intense this is, you can hold it from anywhere from 20 to 60 seconds, but just try to increase the time that you're holding it over time. 